So, think about this. AI is getting so good at thinking for us that we might stop thinking for ourselves. When was the last time you memorized a phone number or did some quick math in your head without grabbing your phone? Exactly. Now imagine that happening to everything, writing, making decisions, creating stuff, even relationships. Yup, relationships too. People are using AI to craft romantic texts or even full-on apology messages. Imagine texting someone you like, but it's their AI assistant flirting back. Kind of weird, huh? It makes you wonder. Are we starting to forget how to feel without a machine's help? There's a term for this, cognitive offloading. It's when we hand over our brain's work to tech. Studies show that the more we do this, the weaker our memory and problem-solving skills get. It's not just convenience anymore, it's like we're disconnecting from what makes us human. So let's explore some of the biggest AI paradoxes, those quirky contradictions that show how AI can solve huge problems but also create some unexpected ones. Paradox 1. Easy for us, tough for AI. Okay, first up is something called Moravec's Paradox. Here's the deal. AI is a total rock star at stuff that's super hard for us, like playing chess or solving crazy math problems. But the things we find easy, like picking up a soft toy, walking through a cluttered room, or spotting a friend's face. AI struggles with those like it's trying to learn a new language. I heard this story about Elon Musk at a Tesla factory. They spent millions on a robot to stick some fluffy material on batteries, but it kept messing up because it couldn't handle the fluff as well as a human hand. A toddler could probably do it better. Why is this so hard for AI? Well, things like seeing or moving come from millions of years of human evolution. They're like our built-in superpowers. But for AI, those simple skills are a nightmare to program. Meanwhile, abstract stuff like math? That's newer for humans, so it's actually easier for AI to nail. This paradox shows that AI's smarts are totally different from ours, especially when it comes to real-world stuff like common sense or physical tasks. It's why researchers are now working on embodied AI, systems that learn by interacting with the world, kind of like we do. Cool, right? Paradox 2. Knowing more than we can explain. All right, here's another one that's super relatable, Polanyi's paradox. It's all about how we know more than we can tell. Think about riding a bike. You just do it, right? But try explaining every single move you make to stay balanced. It's tough. That's called tacit knowledge, the intuitive, hands-on wisdom we get from experience, like a designer knowing what makes a website pop or a coder's gut feeling when debugging. For ages, this was a huge hurdle for AI. How do you program a machine to do something you can't even fully explain? But here's where things get exciting. Modern AI with all its deep learning magic is starting to crack this. It looks at tons of data, think millions of examples, and figures out patterns we can't even put into words. Like Google's AlphaGo learned crazy good Go strategies just by studying tons of games. This paradox also explains why some jobs are tricky to automate. Anything needing creativity, intuition, or judgment, like designing or problem solving AI can help with, but it can't fully take over. It's why we're seeing more high skill and hands-on jobs pop up while routine tasks get automated. The trick is making sure we share our human know-how with AI through good data and systems. Paradox three, trusting AI too much. Now this one hits close to home, the complacency paradox. AI is built to help us make decisions, but sometimes we trust it too much. It's like when you follow GPS directions without questioning, even when it's leading you to a dead end. Here's an example. Imagine a doctor using AI to diagnose a patient. If the AI gets something wrong, like misreading data, and the doctor doesn't double check, that could be a big problem. Same goes for programmers trusting AI-generated code without reviewing it, or financial analysts leaning too hard on AI predictions. Studies even show that using AI tools a lot can weaken our critical thinking, especially for younger folks. There's a fancy term for this, illusion of explanatory depth. AI gives us these slick explanations, and we think we get it, but we might not. The fix? Trust, but verify. AI's an awesome helper, but we've got to keep our skeptical human brains in the game. Companies can help by making AI show its confidence levels and encouraging us to question its outputs. Paradox 4. All hype, no results. You've probably heard all the hype about generative AI like ChatGPT. Companies are throwing tons of money at it, expecting it to change everything. But here's the crazy part. A lot of these AI projects crash and burn before they even launch. Research says 42% of companies ditch most of their AI initiatives, up from just 17% a year ago. Why? It's not always the tech's fault. It's often because companies aren't ready. They've got scattered projects, bad data, or teams that don't talk to each other. It's like trying to build a house without a foundation. It's going to collapse. Forbes calls this implementation debt. All the shortcuts and oversights that pile up and tank projects. The solution? Slow down to speed up. Companies need to nail the basics good data, clear plans, and teams that work together. 
Oh, and here's another twist. The fancier AI gets, the more we need humans who really get it. Those AI archaeologists who can dig into how these systems think. Losing those experts is a huge risk, so companies better keep them happy. Paradox 5. Ethical and Economic Head Scratchers Last but not least, AI brings up some big ethical and economic puzzles, full of contradictions. Let's run through a few. Bias versus objectivity. We think AI is neutral because it's just code, but it learns from our data. If that data is biased, like old hiring records favoring certain groups, AI can make those biases worse. So an AI built to be fair can end up unfair if we're not careful. Job killer versus job creator. AI is taking away some jobs, like cashiers at self-checkout. But it's also creating new ones, like AI ethics experts or machine learning engineers. It can even make existing jobs better by boosting our skills. Whether you win or lose depends on adapting and learning new skills. Transparency versus black box. AI is great at finding patterns, but a lot of it's a black box. We can't always see how it makes decisions. That's a problem for things like loans or medical diagnoses, where we need to know why. Explainable AI is trying to fix this, but it's a tough balance between power and clarity. Efficiency versus resource use. Here's a wild one. AI is getting more efficient, using less power per task, but because it's so good, we're using it more, which can spike overall energy use. It's like fuel-efficient cars leading to more driving. We've got to figure out how to keep this sustainable. So, how do we make AI work for us? These paradoxes aren't deal breakers, they're just part of the AI adventure. The goal is to work with them to make AI a force for good. Here's how we can do it. Team up with AI. Think of AI as your trusty sidekick, not a replacement. When we combine AI's data crunching power with our human judgment and creativity, we get amazing results. Like, in breast cancer detection, humans and AI together hit over 99% accuracy, better than either alone. Get AI savvy. We all need to learn what AI can and can't do. Don't just take its word for it. Ask questions, poke at its limits, and use your own brain power. Companies should teach us to challenge AI and think critically. Set clear rules. Organizations need solid guidelines for using AI, checking for biases, and making sure it's fair and accurate. Think regular audits and ethical frameworks like the EUAI Act. Focus on good data. AI is only as good as the data it gets. Clean, unbiased, accessible data is key to making AI reliable. Share the knowledge. As AI gets complex, we need to spread expertise around. Companies should mentor, train, and document how AI works so we don't lose critical know-how when experts leave. The AI paradox is a reminder that AI is not just a cool gadget, it's a game changer for how we think, work, and live. By understanding these quirks and focusing on human-centered design, smart rules, and constant learning, we can make sure AI lifts us up, not holds us back. It's not about AI taking over, it's about AI helping us shine brighter and tackle problems we never thought we could. What do you think about these paradoxes? Drop your thoughts below, and let's keep the conversation going.